With the Tesla Giga Berlin settlement in Grünheide, a large infrastructure concept is planned with a volume of about 80 million euros. It includes new cycle paths, new roads, new freeway exit, and much more, reports our friend uh, Jürgen based on the report of Brandenburg's public radio, RBB24. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. Um, and ring the notification bell so you don't uh, miss our next uh, report. So um, RBB reports that at Tesla in Grünheide, ten, tens of thousands of people will soon be commuting in and out every day. The current transport infrastructure is not sufficient for this, of course, because we're expecting about 12,000 new people. A new development plan currently on display is on display in Grünheide, and it intends to change that whole thing, how people will commute to work and go back to their homes. So the numbers are huge. Up to 12,000 people are expected to work in the Tesla Giga Berlin factory currently for approval. If Tesla expands its factory in the coming years, it could employ up to 40,000 workers all of whom have to come to the factory somehow. Imagine what 40,000 workers plus their families mean for small cities in the area that are so roughly seven to 10,000 uh, population. 40,000 people, workers with uh, with their families, this can well be like what? Uh, let's put, uh, let's give about three people on average in each family, and we're talking about 120,000 people. If you have larger families coming, 20, uh, four people coming uh, in each family, like husband and wife and two children, we're talking about 160,000 people. Add to this the infrastructure that needs to be uh, built in the area, restaurants, hotels, and gas stations, and so on, libraries, schools, teachers coming to work the area. We're talking about, well, maybe somewhere between 150 to 200,000 people coming to the area in the next two, three years. This is why the local government is working to uh, and has a plan to invest 80 million euros with the planet concept. And that is going to include new uh, uh, bicycle paths, um, new roads, new freeways and, exist, uh, and exits uh, from the highways. And that's going to that is already on display. So RBB reports that in addition, building materials are to be brought into the factory and finished Tesla, uh, Tesla vehicles will be transported out of the factory every day. It is considered to be well connected, but a lot has to happen to prevent cars, trucks, trains, and bicycles from jamming with so much traffic. You have to do something about this to prevent so much traffic. So uh, like I said before, uh, it's not only the people and their families and the infrastructures, but imagine the traffic that is going to bring buildings, building materials to the area and um, holler over uh, thousands of Tesla vehicles to nearby train stations, uh, through highways and through ports to uh, ship them throughout Europe and who knows, maybe somewhere else in different continents. I say different continents because we have seen recently in past few days, 7,000 Tesla vehicles being shipped to Europe from uh, China, from Tesla Giga Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai, once Tesla Giga Berlin is becoming up, is, uh, is operational, uh, that probably will stop and Tesla Giga Berlin will take care of the um, uh, business shipments throughout Europe of Tesla vehicles. But who knows, maybe they will ship start shipping to Africa or the Middle East, which are closest uh, areas besides, of course, um, uh, besides, of course, European continent. Now, therefore, for, with all this in place, a proposal to change the local development plan in the in Grünheide town where Tesla is building Giga Berlin and on the Internet is still available until November 2nd. It, it, it essentially provides for five construction measures. Let's take a look at those measures. New highway exit and new state road. In the north of Tesla area, Tesla Giga Berlin area, a new highway, they call it motorway exit from the Berliner ring is to be built with two lanes so that trucks can easily drive onto the state roads that is also to be built. This should 
past a planned works entrance lead over approximately 400 meters to the existing State Road 23 east of the Tesla site. Now, a new meters north of the planned estuary, the L23, crosses the rails on which, among other things, the trains of the RE1 roll. Here, a bridge is to be is to replace the barrel levels uh, level crossing so that cars cyclists and pedestrians uh, uh, bicyclists and pedestrians do not have to wait at the barriers when more regional express trains and freight trains are soon to be um, operating now another thing is state and municipality should pay for this because there has been discussions whether tesla is going to pay for all of this or the state or the municipal government is going to pay for this rbb reports that to the south of tesla site the tesla giga berlin site additional lanes are to be built on the l38 state road so that cars and trucks can turn into the tesla giga berlin plant and the freimbring industrial park without slowing down the rest of the traffic this is good news of course finally rbb says the community of grünheide wants to enlarge the parking lot of the Fangschloys train station which is a small train station by around 6,000 square meters she um, they, they want to spend up to 300,000 uh, euros on this says mayor of uh, grünheide arnie christiani uh, to rbb the other construction me measures are expected to be paid for by the state of Brandenburg, which intends to invest a total of 78 million euros in the transport infrastructure around the Tesla Giga Berlin site. Now, Tesla wants to build temporary departure at its own expense, temporary highway exits and juncture. If Mayor Christiani has his way, uh, the Grünheide community representatives should decide on the change the development plan at their meeting on December 15. Then uh, the excavators could start rolling at the beginning of the next year. But even if that works, it will take years before all roads that we talked about here and highway exits are ready. Cristiani hopes that all construction work will be over by 2026. Now, keep in mind, Tesla is going to start, God willing, the operations at Giga Berlin sometimes before summer of 2021. But all of this work that I just talked about here in this report is going to be over by 2026, so five years. That, does that mean that five years? there will be traffic and there will be congestions and jams i don't know tesla doesn't want to wait that long of course and is therefore planning to build and build an exclusive factory exit at its own expense until the actual exit is complete the company is currently discussing this with the state road administration rbb reports saying the municipality of grünheide also wants to expand the parking lot at the frank Schloes train station from november 11th with an early approval so that all drivers can find a parking space when the re1 st train stops every half hour from december 13th that means starting december 13th probably a lot of people will start coming to giga berlin for inside preparation works now another thing is shift changes should be coordinated with traffic of course um, uh, rbb says but the commitment of the community and the state alone will not be enough to cope with the flood of commuters and materials in a 40,000 employee factory tesla is also in demand for solutions to traffic some of them have been sketched out by berlin traffic engineers in a report that is at attached to the development plan a 24 hour three shift operation with a good 9000 employees each is planned at the tesla plant in addition there should be a day shift so that 9000 employees don't leave and another 9000 employees arrive at the same time tesla is planning shift changes from department to department at different times in this way the shuttle traffic could be stretched because the planners expect that almost two-thirds of the employees will come by car, the shift changes should also be arranged so that they do not coincide with the rush hour of the neighboring Berlin motorway ring. And uh, carpools and e-bikes, let me talk about that a little bit. 
In order to further minimize car traffic, the planners suggest that Tesla promote carpools, for example, with special parking spaces at the plant. Company tickets could help to encourage employees commuting from Berlin in particular to take the train. According to the report, shuttle buses from Erkner and the Frank Schloys train station to be planned to the plant would also be helpful. And who knows, maybe Tesla or the city would provide that. If the Frank Schloys station is built close Closer to the Tesla Giga Berlin plant, the employees could also walk, but this is a separate approval process. The development plan only creates the first prerequisites here, such as parking spaces on the newly built state road. Finally, the planners advocate new and better bike paths in the region. Tesla can also promote electric bikes which are extremely popular in germany and especially in berlin area so that as many employees as possible um, from the region could bicycle to work and i think uh, building the train station to a walking distance to gigafactory is a great idea electric bikes are a great idea this whole thing will minimize um, the driving to a giga berlin plant and uh, help with the traffic in the area well friends let me know what your thoughts are about all these developments around giga berlin with 80 million euro investment this is armin harian from torknews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next